Hello, welcome to The Horticulturalist. I'm Matthew Lucas, locked down in Melbourne in my rental. Hello, and I'm Stephen Ryan, and we're The Horticulturalists. We post a video every week, so don't forget to subscribe. And due to lockdown, Matthew and I are working from our own gardens, but fortuitously, we both have the same plant to discuss. Today, we're looking at a very interesting Chilean climbing plant. It's actually a winter growing, late winter, early spring flowering, herbaceous perennial climber, and it's called Tropiolum tricolor. Tropiolum was given to the plant by Linnaeus, as when he saw the classical garden nasturtium, which of course is also a tropiolum, he saw it growing on a tripod, and it reminded him of the classic trophy. A trophy, of course, in ancient times was a teepee of spears standing there with golden helmets and shields lying against it, and the garden nasturtium reminded him of that. Slightly long bow to draw, but that's where the name tropiolum comes from. This particular species is tropiolum tricolor, and of course tricolor means three colors. So it has the bright orangey red, it has a black ring around the outside of the trumpet, and the center is a yellowy green, so hence tricolor. I'm so glad we're covering this today because it so happens I have one too, and you might not know this, Stephen. But in fact, this was the first thing I bought from you before I actually really knew you. I'd seen it in your nursery one winter in bloom. And then the following winter, I went back and bought this very one. Well, in fact, the tuber that it came from. And I grew it quite successfully on my balcony in the city, which used to get dappled afternoon sun. It's done very well. It keeps multiplying every year. I get more and more tubers, which I can give to people. And this is this year's growth. I just love it. Now, it's Chilean, is it not? This Chilean climber virtually has a reverse cycle. It actually grows through the winter and flowers in the late winter, early spring, and then it's dormant through the summer. Now, one might well say, well, why do you want a climbing plant that disappears in the summer? Well, there's lots of reasons for growing this plant. One is, of course, it makes a great seasonal impact in a pot, so just grow it in a pot with some bamboo canes or a metal tripod and enjoy it during that season. Another way you can use it is as I've done here. This is growing through an Escalonia hedge. So the tubers are in amongst the roots of the Escalonia, which keeps it dry in the summer. It grows through the winter, flowers in the late winter, and by the time the Escalonia needs pruning in the late spring, it's completely died down, so it's not harmed by pruning the hedge. Is it fair to say that Chile has got some pretty amazing plants that tend to be counter-seasonal, of which you have quite a few, Stephen. We might have to do a Chilean special. Mine's getting dappled morning sun and then pretty shady in the afternoon. I know that you have got yours in two different spots, Stephen. So what is the perfect condition to grow this? Where you use them and put them doesn't really matter much. They'll cope with fairly heavy shade. They'll also cope with full sun, considering that they're winter growing. It's not going to be that hot. The only difference will be that if they're in the shade, they'll start to flower later, but will go on later into the season. If they're out in the sun, they'll start flowering earlier, but they'll finish off earlier. So you should still get about the same length of time out of them. Now it is counter seasonal blooming and growing in winter and going dormant and dying down in summer. So what is its life cycle and how should you look after it? Although I enjoy growing my tropiolums through a hedge, I always keep some plants in pots because if we get a damp summer, some of them are likely to rot off in the ground. So it's a great insurance policy as well as being able to ship them around and enjoy them in different places. So now we need to discuss how to manage them. Because they're summer dormant, you plant the tubers in pots in the late summer, generally in the Southern Hemisphere around about end of February, early March. The tubers will be different sizes, but that doesn't matter. They should all flower and just make sure you spread them out into an appropriate spacing for the given size pot that you're using. They will then start to send up very fine wiry shoots, which will then quickly grab hold of whatever the frame is that you're training them on. Keep them moist during that period, which is during the winter. So in fact, nature will often take care of that. And they will flower through until our mid spring. So around about the end of October, early November and then the plant will start to yellow. As soon as they start to yellow, withhold water so that you dry them right out. And that way you can keep them in good fettle for the next year. Now you can either leave them in the pot dry or you can actually take them out of the pots and store them in a box in the shed until you see the little wiry shoots start to come up and then repot them. And that's basically all you have to do as far as growing them is concerned. 
Tropiolium tricolorum, I adore you. Now, mine is growing in a large pot, as you can see, with bamboo canes. It obviously does very well in pots. Do you think, Stephen, the best time to buy it is when it's dormant so you can ship the tubers because it's quite delicate. And when I was repotting mine, it had actually already started to sprout. So is that a problem? If like me, you're a bit of an impulse purchaser, then obviously you'll want to buy them in flower in pots from your local nursery. But they're far too fragile to send out via the post that way. So if you're looking for the plant at other times of the year and you're wanting to buy it mail order, then obviously dormant tubers, which are available during the late spring summer period, is the way to go. Thank you, Mr. Ryan. And thank you for this because it kind of, this was the plant that brought us together because we have a mutual friend. I went with her to the nursery to buy this, introduced to you, and here we are. And if you let it do its thing up a trellis or a shrub, how tall can it actually get? Now I'm often asked how tall this plant grows because of course every year it starts off from the bottom again. So there's a finite size to which it can grow. In pots that's generally dependent on the size of the pot you put it in and whatever frame you've got to grow it on. So it will grow to the top of most frames that you could grow in a pot. In the ground it can grow almost as tall as anything that it can grow up. I have actually had this plant grow to over three metres tall, so that's about 10 feet or so in the old measurement, and I'm sure it could have grown taller if I had more room for it to keep going. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our little visit to Chile, and we'll see you next week. Thank you for watching. Do hit subscribe if you want to follow our continuing adventures, and we look forward to seeing you next week.